Hello and welcome to this Cartoon Smart tutorial. Um, we're exploring Adobe Illustrator CS5 and this particular video um, we are talking about the double click to isolate option in the preferences panel. Now if you don't already have a document open go ahead and open one from the file new menu. doesn't matter what it is. Okay and what I would like you to do is just go ahead and drag out a couple of rectangles. Uh, maybe like uh, three rectangles. And I'm going to make these a little bit prettier. I'm holding down shift, clicking on each one of them to select all of them. And uh, double click on this swatch right here and change it to oh, maybe a little bit darker than that. Something like that. There you go. Actually, I like that. I'm going to put a stroke on it. So click on this first stroke and just click right there to make it black. And maybe take your stroke up, up to two points. Doesn't really matter. I just need a few objects together, like that. So we are talking about um, the double click to isolate. And if you were to go to your preferences panel, it's here on the Mac. Um, on Windows it's under edit so go to preferences general and you will see a double click to isolate option right here now by default I believe that is checked so I had you make these uh, three rectangles here but first I want to show you um, on this this guy here this guy is a group him the stock and his bubble quote with the text in it it's all grouped together so he's grouped. If I want to work on something within the group, I can double click anywhere on that grouped object and you see how the background turns kind of a kind of a, a lighter color. It's almost as if you're inside a glass dome with him and everything outside is beyond that glass dome because you're isolated in the group with him. And if you'll notice up here, you will have uh, it shows you the layer that I'm actually working on and then the group inside it. So this is what we're at. We're at it's kinda like um nested movie clips in Flash. You, I'm sure you're probably used to working with Flash if you've been purchasing tutorials from Cartoon Smart uh, for any time. And they're very, 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 very good. And if you haven't, I suggest you go ahead and do that. Okay now we are in this isolated group and within this group is more groups <laughs> actually so this guy in the stock is actually a group it's called nested groups if I double click on him again now I'm even deeper inside so what I'm doing is I'm double clicking even his hand is a group so if I double click in there now everything behind it's got that lighter color and uh, everything his hand is now all separate little little objects now but now I'm going to double click outside of that group and we'll, we're back to normal. Right? So if I double click inside, it goes into the group way, way down as far as you want to go. So I'm in layer two, group, group, group. So I'm way into the nested group of this guy. So also to get back out of it, if I want to go back to just my normal layer, I want to get out of the group or out of the isolation mode, I would hit the back arrow, back arrow, back arrow, all the way back up. Okay, so like I said, we double clicked to get in there. And I had you make these rectangles just in case you wanted to try it yourself. So if I was to select all of these objects, I could go to Object Group, or I could right click on, on those objects once you have them all selected and this would be group but now it's ungrouped so now I've ungrouped it so I have all these guys see group double click outside to get out of it um, double click inside and now we're in isolation mode we're inside that group so, so if you go to your preferences general preferences now unclick or un uncheck double click to isolate and select that. Now, double clicking 
it's pretty intuitive. I mean, it means what it says. It says what it means. <laughs> I like to say things backward and strewn around and blah, blah. You know. I'm babbling. Okay. So now, no longer does double clicking get you into the group. However, if you've just noticed, I happen to double click on the text, which is act actually live text at the moment. Live text meaning that it's selectable and editable. I have not created an outline out of it yet. And we'll get into that later, of course. So I'm going to click here and get away from that. So, but say you you still want to enter the the group, you still want to isolate enter isolation mode into the group, you can still go isolate selected group by right clicking anywhere in the group. Right click, isolate selected group. Now you're within that group, just like movie clips in Flash. Same thing. Actually, you know what? I just noticed. Right clicking, let's see, is that grouped? Isol okay, I can still isolate selected group and get in there. So. Now if I right click outside of it, exit isolation mode. So I'm completely out of it. Now, when I have this group selected, there is supposed to be an icon up here in my control panel that allows me to do the same thing by going in and isolating that group. Now for some reason I'm not seeing it. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bug, if my file's corrupted or not. I'm not sure. But if I go into isolate selected group, and select another group it should be up there now I noticed that earlier oh yes this icon right here says isolate selected object okay so now if I go in there it does the same thing it goes in and isolates that I'm gonna exit right click so I'm all the way out now I don't know why that work it should work regardless of how nested it is I don't I, I think anyway I don't know what the deal is with that but if you encounter that little bug where you don't see the ex um, enter isolate isolated group then just do one of the following you know if you have the you can just right click on it um, see double clicking outside of it doesn't do it either exit isolation so by default I like to just go ahead and choose the double click to isolate option that's just how I work. It's easier for me. See, double click in, double click away from it to get out. That is pretty much um, all there is to that. Like I said, I had you create your rectangles just in case you wanted to try it because I know you probably don't have this you know, open at the moment. And I will probably include all these, all the stuff on, that I use in demonstrations. I will include that in with the uh, in with these videos so that you can play with them do what you want with them you know kind of like a, a bonus clip art type of thing with the videos all right and if I forget to do that <laughs> I apologize but no there, there should be in there um, there should be a folder with um, clip art or something I haven't figured out what to name it yet in retrospect I'll go ahead and um, put something in later on about that so that's all there is for this video. Um, thank you for watching. For Cartoon Smart, I am Brian Zykowski. Thank you for watching.